terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. I don't know if Congress knows this. Kev doesn't care. I I don't know. But that's what's going to happen. And this is what Elon Musk is telling us. Uh, Musk was replying when he said the the commercial real estate market's going to collapse. It's going to take the housing market with it. He was replying to a tweet by Kraft Ventures founder. David Sachs, who posted a Bloomberg article, noted that almost $1.5 trillion, with a T, of U.S. commercial real estate debt comes due for repayment before the end of 2025. They're going to have to refi at Kev and Biden rates and Duncan rates, and those are going to be very, very high. They're going to default. I can't can't do it. That's going to take the the regional banks down. And folks, even if we want to print the money to bail them out like we did SVB, there are too many. There's too much debt. We can't even print our way out of it. So you're going to begin to see a a calamity of bank collapses. This is just the beginning. We could have voted to just leave the debt limit, even leave the $2 trillion limit. It's really 1.5 that Joe Biden wanted, been done with it. But Kev said, no, no, let's throw out the limit. Jeff Duncan said, cool, let's do it. Let's break the back of the American people. They threw on some little cuts that are silly. It doesn't matter if you cut a little bit when you're keeping the COVID level spending locked in as the baseline, as Nancy Mace explained, what they voted for was endless inflation and endless interest rate hikes to tamp it down. What is that going to do? It's going to collapse the regional banks. And even when we try to go print the money to barrel them out, we don't have enough. There's too many. There's too much debt's too big. And what is that going to mean? Probably take the real estate uh, market down with it. The housing market down with it. So this is two times in six days. And literally in the middle of this, Congress is voting to not only keep all of the conditions that are causing it, but to accelerate them. It is literally economic illiteracy and complete madness. But it's, you know, it's where they want to go. And we're going to learn the hard way. We're going to learn the hard way. According um, to a, uh, it's a it's, it's something called the Kabisi letter, which Musk quoted in April. Um, one of our most serious looming issues over the next five years, you got more than uh, five, two point five trillion in commercial real estate debt that'll come due. The bill's going to come. They can't pay it because they don't have tenants, uh, thanks to the Fauci uh, plan for destroying commercial real estate. Too many companies saving money, working at home in the Biden inflation and Kevflation now economy. So uh, what's going to happen? They're going to they're going to default, and regional banks are going down. Folks, all of this is going to happen over the next five years, but really over the next two to three. And the Republicans are going to blame the Democrats. The Democrats are going to blame the Republicans or maybe Putin or something. I don't know. But what happened last week, that vote, that was the chance to say, you know what? We're not going to collapse our regional banks. We're not going to have a real estate collapse. We're not going to have a commercial real estate collapse. That was the opportunity. We screwed up. Kev screwed up. And the American people have no idea what's about to hit them. That's what Elon Musk was trying to tell them over the weekend. This is why it was one of the number one things on Google Trends. No, no, no. Don't listen to what these fools are telling you. I have better economic advisors than Congress. We are we are courting the collapse now. We have voted for the collapse. That is what this is. And what they voted for is this. Listen, we thought the American people would throw us out. We thought they'd throw the Democrats out because they are known to be responsible for inflation. They didn't. The Democrats gained in the Senate. And what was learned from that, and I told you this right after the election, is the American people are willing to live with 7 to 9% inflation. We are willing to live with high interest rates, so high the average family now cannot buy a new house. They're locked into wherever they're living. They can barely afford where they're living, a lot of them. And the American people are cool with that as long as no mean tweets. And so Biden and Kev went, yeah, thumbs up. Let's go broke. And we are. Terra is swatted. Hear the Terra Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.